Looking for singles to finish your deck or collection? CCG Castle has a wide selection of cards at amazing prices. They also have tons of sealed boxes, tins, and packs as well. Use promo code EVO5 to save 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for Evolutionaries Gaming, and welcome back to more Pokemon Sword and Shield openings here on the channel. Today, we've got ourselves an Elite Trainer Box, the Zamazenta Elite Trainer Box right here. I picked this one because it's blue, and blue is my favorite color, as you may have guessed from many, many videos of me wearing blue shirts all the time. So, we've opened up quite a bit of Sword and Shield already, uh, you know, release date wasn't that long ago, and we've already got, what, three booster boxes under our belts, and <laughs> other stuff as well, I mean, there's been a lot. So, uh, I feel like this has been probably the most we've gotten in before a release date, in the history of the channel, if I'm remembering correctly, but that's a long time, so I could be wrong. I mean, we're almost at six years now. Crazy. All right, guys, let's get into this and see what we will get in this Elite Trainer box. Oh, I love the way that these new trainer boxes look. I think they are awesome. And there's a little bit of a change as well that some of you may not have been expecting. Actually, a couple of changes that you may or may not have been expecting. Uh, of course, we have our player's guide here, which, uh, you know, I like to just kind of thumb through a little bit just so you get an idea of what is inside. Shows you the new Pokemon V and VMAX. Of course, now I believe we've gotten everything except more Peko V. And, of course, the VMAX is associated with most of these Pokemon. Uh, we did get Stonejourner, actually two of those. And we have Snorlax. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, we don't have Lapras. That's the other one we don't have. We don't have Lapras. We don't have more Peko. That's the ones I'm thinking of. Where is the Lapras? Did I miss it? Or are they just not showing everything? Yeah, I don't think they're showing them all. There's definitely... Oh, there it is. Okay, I just skipped the page. Yeah, I don't have the Lapras. Or the Morpeko. Or the regular Morpeko V. That's all I think we're missing. And I don't think I pulled a Cramorant V either. Not a regular one. I pulled a Full Art. So there's that. Huh. Okay, so there's some different strategies shown here, as usual. A couple I didn't expect to see paired together. That's a little bit different. And then, of course, we got the card list, which tells you that there is a grand total of 216 cards in this set. We have pulled two of these gold secret rares. This is what we are after. The gold doggos. Zacian and Zamazenta. Zacian and Zamazenta, apparently, according to the Japanese uh, pronunciation of that. And then, of course, we have all these full arts. Realistically, though, not nearly as many full arts or rare as we have seen in recent past. Uh, we got uh, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 18, 22, 26, 30. 30 full arts or rare is uh, a little bit less than before, which is kind of refreshing, to be honest with you, after all these massive, massive sets that have come out over the recent times through the Sun and Moon era. I felt it was a bit excessive. But anyways, here is our Elite Trainer Box. It's shaped a little bit differently, as you see. We've got some uh, some different cardboard cutouts there. Actually, it's probably saving them some cardboard to do it this way, which is not a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. The logos are reflective. That's a new thing as well. They usually are just uh, matte logos that don't have any reflection to them, but these do. And then we've got our little divider piece. And... Our packs are here. We got the new look of the Poison and Burn counters. They are one-sided and coin-shaped like this and a little more animated. Look a little more old school. The dice are what is very different. They display a numerical value for the damage as opposed to the dots that we have seen in the past, much like this coin die here. As you can see, there is glitter inside of this die. Red glitter in this one and blue glitter in the other one. There you go. All right, and we've got our packs of energy here, which apparently contain fairy, which is interesting. And then we've got our dividers right there. They are different on the other side, which is new as well. We also have our sleeves, which match the dividers. And we have our PTC Geo code card, which we will put back there. And let's get started. We got eight packs. 
Unless there's an air pack, which I have been hoping to get one day where we get more packs than what we were supposed to, but it hasn't happened yet. Let's see. We got eight. So that's what you can expect. Of course, eight packs of Sword and Shield base. I hope the pull rates in this are as good as the booster boxes have been, but we shall see. All right. Three, one, and two. We are starting out here with a Baltoy, a Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Kalabapus, Great Ball, Potion, Rhydon, Drizzile is our reverse, and right off the bat, we get a Torkoal V. I don't think I actually, I, this is another one I don't think I actually had. So Torkoal V, 210 HP, Combustion Pillar, 90 damage, plus you discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a fire energy, does 90 more damage. Steam Crush, 120, and discard two from your opponent's active Pokemon. Usually fire energy, po fire type Pokemon have to discard your own fire energy, but this is discarding energy on the other side of the field. That's pretty good. All right, next pack. Oh my gosh, back to back white code cards. What is this? What is happening right now? All right, we've got a Sizzlipede, a Yamper, Kalabapus, Cottony, Choodle, Pokemon Catcher, Drizzile, we've got an Evolution Incense, Nicket Reverse, and an NDD! V, NDD V. <laughs> uh, wow, first two packs, both with a ultra rare pull. That's still worth more! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I still pulled more than you did. And I'm only on pack number three. Yeah, I pulled more money. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh my gosh! Another one! <laughs> three white code cards in a, in a row. Hollow! Hollow! Salandit. Galarian Ponyta. Minchino. Sobble. Blipbug. Mantine. Dotler, Corvusquire, Reverse is a Galarian Meowth, and a Zamazenta V! You get... Oh, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Nonetheless, that's crazy though. Zamazenta out of the Zamazenta Elite Trainer Box. <laughs> three! Count them three V in a row. Wow. That's crazy. How does- Oh my gosh! Four! You know it has to be a hollow. What the heck? How do I have four in a row? No way! I don't know what it is. I can't tell. <laughs> Alright, we got a Clobopus, a Goldeen, Roselia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Citrus Berry, Corvusquire, Thwacky, Reverse Hollow Rare Frost Moth, which is actually pretty good. Alright, that one's a hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Oranguru is that one. Wow. But for real though, like that was one heck of a of a of a streak that we had going there. Three white four white code cards in a row. Nuts. Alright, we got the Silicobra, Yamper, Krabby, Cuffant, Baltoy, Heatmore, Metal Saucer, Patch. Quick ball. Bolton, Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Lantern, Regular Rare. Alright. I don't think we can really expect to get anything else out of this. Half the pulls were uh, hollow or better out of this already. Like, I feel like there's just nothing left. We've got a Mana, Roselia, Choodle, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Crushing Hammer, Kingler, Hyper Potion, Reverse Hollow is a Goldeen, and a Mudsdale, regular rare. Alright. Three, one, two. Alright, we got a Roselia, Phariseed, Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossiflor, PCL, Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Reverse Hollow Goldeen, the other Goldeen. <laughs> we got both variations of Reverse Goldeen and a Thievil rare. <clears throat> All right. Down to the last pack. Is it possible? I'm not letting you know either way, one way or the other. But is it possible to do better than four out of eight? One 
out of every two packs. We got a Shelter, <coughs> excuse me, Krogonk, Silicobra, Minchino, Vulpix, Pokegear 3.0, Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn, Reverse Hollow as a Lumberry, and ah, just a regular rare. Nine Tails for the final pack. Well, I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised by that because I didn't think that uh, we could go four in a row like that. Now, granted, it was four in a row followed by four of nothing, but we do manage to get three ultra rare pulls and one hollow out of this elite trainer box. So that's pretty solid if you ask me. Zamazenta, Torkoal, NDD, and Orangaroo for the box. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this elite trainer box opening. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe for more TCG content here on Evolutionaries Gaming. It's not over yet for Sword and Shield. There still might be something in the near future or for far future, depending on a certain person. <laughs> so make sure you guys look out for more for sure. And we've got lots of other exciting videos as well. I've got probably 21 videos sitting that are waiting to be posted. So lots and lots of content still coming out and uh, lots of good stuff too. So, all right, guys. Well, that'll do it for today. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, week, weekend, whenever this decides to go up. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>